Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In today's video, I want to clearly explain how to use Ether Delta. Now this can be very difficult to use if you're new to this space. Hopefully by the end of this presentation, you're going to understand exactly how this all works and why it can be a little bit difficult to use. Now the first concept you need to get your head around is the fact that Ether Delta is a decentralized exchange. Now this is very different to a centralized exchange such as Coinbase or Bittrex where you're used to logging in with a username and password. They store your coins on their back end, they've got your wallets, they control your private keys. It's all done on their centralized servers. Now with Ether Delta, this decentralized exchange, we're simply using etherdelta.com website to interact with the Ether Delta smart contract that's just got housed all these buy and sell orders within it. We want to match up with someone else that's placed an order within that smart contract to buy or sell off them. So that's how a decentralized exchange works as opposed to a centralized exchange. And hopefully I've explained that reasonably well and you can get your head around that, that concept that we're just interacting with an Ethereum smart contract. Now the next concept I want you to get your head around is why it's good to use. So often these Ethereum ERC20 tokens when they first come to market, they're not listed on big exchanges. So this is Maker, one that, one, that we've been following for a while. If we head over to coinmarketcap.com and click on Maker, click on Markets, it's going to show you all the trading that's happening and it's on Ether Delta. It's still not on any really big exchanges. You can often buy these coins before they you know, got mass adoption and widely known. They're on these little exchanges first and they're more likely to go up in price when they hit those big exchanges. So it's worthwhile taking the time to learn about how to buy these small coins you often be able to pick them up um, before they hit those big exchanges at a higher price. So the next thing we want to talk about is how we're going to interact with this order book. So here we've got a list of people that are waiting to, to buy and they've placed orders below the current price and people that are waiting to sell that have placed orders above the current price. So the first column here is the price or the ratio of maker to ETH that they want to pay or they want to sell for. The next column here is the amount of maker that they want to buy or sell and the equivalent value of Ethereum here in this final column. So a little bit different to order books you might have seen before, but that's, that's all that is there, those three columns. So next step is how are we going to interact with this Ethereum smart contract that has all these buy and sell orders in it? So we need to um, open up and, and um, attach a wallet basically. So if we head on over here and click this little drop down bottom um, button, sorry, a lot of people get confused and they think they have to create a new account if they've never used Ether Delta before. And I've got that um, centralized exchange mindset that I've spoken about. So they're thinking they've got to create a new account with a username and password. But if you click new account, all that's going to do is create you a new public address and private key. And it's going to ask you to store that private key somewhere safely, all that normal stuff. But it's just creating a new Ethereum account for you. But by now, hopefully you've got a hardware wallet or a lot of you might be familiar with how to use the MetaMask Google Chrome extension here that has an Ethereum wallet embedded in it again. So unlock that with your password or type in your pin code on your ledger, click refresh, and then they should show up green here. I'm just gonna click on my ledger. Now that's got one Ethereum in it, and now that should show up over here in this column here. So again, a couple of columns, let's explain them. So here we've got Ethereum and how much Ethereum is in my wallet, whatever wallet I've just connected to the Ether Delta exchange. So at the moment, that's my hardware wallet. It's not on the exchange as such. And that's what confuses a lot of people that this is a two-step process. So once we've unlocked our wallet or our hardware device, however, we've got our Ethereum stored, we then need to still deposit it over into the Ether Delta smart contract. Now that's what that deposit tab's for. So. The next thing to talk about is the, the gas price and how we do that. But just quickly before I'll do that, if, if you're having any trouble and this is showing up red, make sure you've got that, um, I'll just click on it here, make sure you've got that browser and contract modes enabled, you've got your ledger app on, on your ledger. Um, once those settings are turned on, the browser and the contract modes enabled, it, it should definitely be green once you refresh the button as well. So. The next thing to talk about is the fact that everything we do from now on is an Ethereum transaction that's broadcast to the Ethereum blockchain. 
it's going to cost a little bit of money to pay, to pay those little fees that we that we need to do for all those transactions. So even though I might want to buy one whole Ethereum worth, and if you like me, you've got an OCD, you're used to using round numbers, it's a little bit frustrating that you've got to always keep a little bit of Ethereum aside to cover the cost of these fees and transactions. It's the same the same applies once we're within the Ether Delta contract and we place a buy or sell order. So first step is to yeah type in the amount of ETH that we want to deposit from our hardware wallet or whatever wallet you've opened into the Ether Delta smart contract. Now I'm not going to do that now for the video. It can take a little while. You can adjust your gas price here. Just click on that. Um, head over to ethgasstation.com. Now that's going to tell you whatever ETH gas price you set. So gas price 10. Currently, that's taking one minute and costing 24 cents. They're recommending a, a you know a four cent fee for two gas price. That's going to get there within 32 seconds or two two blocks. So it's pretty cheap and running fairly smoothly at the moment on the Ethereum network. So once I've deposited some ETH over here, then I can start to place an order. Now, there's a couple of ways to do this. Now, the first one here, I can just click on the lowest price that someone is selling, as long as they're selling enough maker for me to buy. So if I just click on this order here, they're selling two maker, but I might only want to buy, you know, 0.3, and that's going to bring up the price of Ethereum. The amount of Ethereum that I'm going to have to use to buy that amount of maker and that little fee that we have to pay now. Again, if I click buy, that creates an Ethereum transaction on the Ethereum blockchain. It's going to take a little while, guys. So if you keep clicking these buttons, um, thinking it's not working or getting frustrated, it's going to create more transactions. And that's actually going to cost you a little bit. It's going to create a little network fee each time, each transaction you create. So just be patient. It can be slow and a little bit clunky that feel, but um, it is just being broadcast to the network. It, it will come through eventually. The second way to do it is going to have a lower fee if you just type in an order manually. Again, clicking on buy or selling if that's what you want to do, but you can just type in that amount of maker that you want to buy. So let's just type in um, 0.3 maker at that price there, 0.1, 1.65. Again, if a coin has got a lot of decimal places, if you accidentally type the wrong thing, an extra zero or two extra zeros, that is going to still execute if you've got enough Ethereum in your wallet, even though you might accidentally be paying 10 times or 100 times the price. And I'm sure you've heard stories of people saying, I mucked up on Ether Delta, I accidentally paid $100 when I was meant to pay $1 because I typed in the the mate, the whatever coin you're buying, um, you know the price wrong here because I put an extra decimal place. So double check the price you're paying um, in this column here. It will automatically tell you the Ethereum, and you can obviously change the number of blocks before you want that order to expire. But hopefully it gets filled reasonably quickly. So by doing it this way manually, it does have a slightly lower fee. Okay, so once we've done that, that's executed, it's on the blockchain, You, the maker or whatever coin you've bought will show up here in this column here. So maker, um, it'll show up here, and then you want to withdraw it out of the Ether Delta smart contract back into your wallet, which in this case is our ledger, which we attach. So whatever wallet you attached up here, if you click this withdraw function, again, it's going to charge you a little bit of Ethereum for that gas fee to send it back to your hardware wallet. Now this third column, again, it confuses people. Transfer is just if we want to send some um, Maker or Ethereum from our wallet to a different address. Um, and again, hopefully if you're doing all this right, you're just able to go straight from your ledger into Ether Delta, buy your coin and, and then back out into your wallet. Transfer is only if you're sending it somewhere else. So again, don't worry about that if you don't have to, guys. So hopefully I've explained that nice and clearly, those key concepts to get your head around, the fact that this is a decentralized exchange. It's very different to a centralized exchange where you log in. There's a couple of ways, whatever you find easiest to interact with it and open up your wallet. Each, each click of the button on Ether Delta is going to create a transaction, so you need Ethereum aside to cover those small transaction fees. And again, it can be a bit slow, depending on the Ethereum network, for it to show up at, in each stage, its process. And as I mentioned, it's a two-step process on the way in and a two-step process.
process on the way out. So guys, hopefully I've explained that nice and clearly. Check out my video on my Ether Wallet. I'll link to that at the end of this presentation as well. Please hit like, share these videos around, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, thanks for tuning in, guys. Cheers.